What's up guys, it's Catch the Shooter and I'm back again with another Final Cut 10 tutorial. I'm on the road guys, I'm trying to bring you something new, something fresh every week. This particular week, I got three different videos planned coming to the channel. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, all that good stuff that YouTube will say. <laughs> so, let's jump right into it. Today we're going to be talking about Pro Shiver. Uh, by Pixel Film Studios. You see right now it's sitting at $29.95. When I got it like two years ago, it was at $49.95. That's 50 bucks. I don't know about you, but I ain't got it to spend every week or every time something new dropped. So lucky for you, lucky for everybody else that come across this video, you're going to be getting that catch the shooter discount with it. So let's jump into it. The video I'm using, for example, is live on my channel right now. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Drop something in the comments, anything you want to know about it, anything like that. So back to ProShiver. What ProShiver does, it just spices up your videos. It gives it a little bit of damage, a little bit more action. Like uh, right here. Boom, right there. Trance is the name of the track. So I put a little bit of emphasis on trans by using the Pro Shiver plugin. See how it bounces it onto the screen? And that one is just basically the normal damage. Oh yeah. And also, you get 10 different types of damages with it. You see you have 1 through 10 right here. That's damage in. I'm going to talk about that in a second. You have 1 through 10. You can use 1 on top of 6. You can use 6 on top of 7. You can stack them all up if that's what you want to do. Actually, I should probably try that. I've never tried that. It'll probably give you a dope effect. So, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. Be creative, you know what I'm saying? Throw them all on there for all I care. So, for the next part, we're going to be talking about damage in. And this is what damage in looks like. Boom, you see how it transfers from in front of the house? Boom, to right in front of the church. So damage in is basically used to introduce your next clip onto the shot. So it's doping in the transition. It's a lot more unique than any transition you can think of. And it also comes with 10 different parts. You see over here to the right? 10 different damage in. And the same thing goes for these. You can stack them on top of each other. And they all are just drag and drop, guys. It's just drag and drop. And you just, you know, drag and drop it on top of that and, you know, see which one you like and tweak it to, to your liking. And the next one we're going to talk about is damage out. And what damage out does is basically at the end of your clip, you drop a damage out on that and it gives you basically a different effect. And like I said with the other two, damage out also comes with... 10 different presets too so let me show you what damage out looks like so boom that's the damage out let's see that's damage out one okay we're gonna just for tutorial sake we're gonna drag damage out four like I say it's drag and drop let that render in a little bit Excuse me if you can hear the air. My air just kicked on, so hopefully it's not coming through too loud on the microphone. If it's coming through at all, I'll try to fix it in post. <laughs> okay. Done rendering in right now. That took a little bit longer than usual. Probably because I'm recording the screen at the same time. And that's what Damage Out does. I actually probably should have used that one, but that's a part of it. And that's damage out. And the next one we have, guys, is what I, I use a lot of the time. It's called the malfunction. And malfunction is really dope. Come over here to the right. Malfunction also has 10 different, 10 different presets that you can use. And this is what the malfunction looks like. See, that's dope, guys. I, I love the malfunction. And the dope, one of the most dope things about the malfunction is you can actually change the color that that comes across the, comes across the screen. On this particular video, I use yellow and red because in the shot, he's wearing a yellow shirt and the guy in the background is wearing a red. But 
you can use any color that that you like you can use something that matches the words on the shirt or anything like that so i just changed it to like an orangish color I'll show you what it looked like with the orange on there see and that's with the orange and with the malfunction guys there's a lot you can do with it you can change the brightness the blur amount the distortion the color intensity it's a bunch of different things you can do with it and the same thing goes for this one as i said for the other ones the drag and drop so you can stack them all on top of each other and you can get crazy crazy effects however however crazy you like to be these are dope for making intro videos these are dope for a bunch of different things guys and i'm probably only going to be charging like five bucks or something for it like i said when i purchased it it was at 50 bucks right now it's at 30 bucks so i'm saving you guys easily a 25 25 bucks or anything like that um and last but not least we have the malfunction in and malfunction in it basically takes the last clip and it malfunctions it, it it stutters up the screen so that the next clip can come in i'll just show you effect right here you saw that blue i'm that's the actual that's the stop so boom it come from come from that boom right into this and the same thing as with the last clip guys you can change the color here to blue green purple anything like that so I just changed it from I think it was that it stock at blue so I just changed it to green so we'll see what that looks like as soon as it, my computer is running really slow hopefully that's an excuse to get a new computer <laughs> but uh if you want me to do a, a, a I know I'm rambling on guys but if you want me to do a, a, a computer review a spec review or anything like that just let me know in the comments guys I'm looking for more and more ideas to bring to the channel okay now that it's done this is what it looks like with the green on it see that's with the green so the link will be in the description guys uh if you have any questions any any remarks anything if you want to do a live chat live anything let me know so uh until next time like i say subscribe like turn on post notifications it's gonna be a busy week guys i'm bringing vlogs and everything so till next time catch the shooter signing out